Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another BJ and Co Terraria video. Today we're continuing on with our Wednesday wiring series to kind of just show you guys some neat little wiring tricks and things you can do within Terraria to make your your game a little bit easier. Um, last week we had the lovely bait farm that we worked on down below. If you want to see that there's a link up above. And uh, yeah today we're gonna be checking out how to generate liquid. So um, basically making endless lava, endless water, and endless honey supplies. And on top of that, you can also make, um, tie it together to kind of get crispy honey, honey blocks, or obsidian very easily. So we're going to go on. Uh, if you are enjoying these Wednesday wiring things, guys, or any of our other content, we would love the likes. Um, I would be amazed if we could get 15 likes on this video, which would be awesome. So show your support, guys. And if you want uh, some notification of when our new videos go live, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel. We always love having you part of the BJ and Co community. So with that, let's get this thing going. Now, in order to do this, there's a couple things we're going to need. Um, we're going to need some, some sort of building block. I'm using gray bricks. You're going to want inlet and outlet pumps. Um, these can be made with either lead or iron bars and one piece of wire. You need 10 bars and one wire to make each of them. So, you know, here I needed 60 bars to make it. Six wires, not too shabby whatsoever. Um, and then we're also going to need some timers. Timers can be made um, using a gold watch and a piece of wire. And you make a gold watch with gold and chains at a table. So I'm just going to go grab me some of the wonderful timers just so I have enough. And one, two, three, so we can get this going. Okay. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to make some sort of holding container. Uh, I'm just going to go up. And you need a different container for each um, liquid that you want to do. I'm just kind of building this. Actually, I should go up a little bit higher. Uh, that should be good. So I'm building this uh, with enough room for me to run underneath as well as two bricks above. Um, and that's kind of for the fun, the fun channeling we're gonna do to get the honey and lava and everything. And then all you need to do is just make a container. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a decent amount of space here. And then I'm just gonna pick a height that I like. And you can go as high as you want. The bigger you go, the um, the more liquid you can store, of course, right? Because this will just be a big holding container. But in the container, we will be using some replication techniques in order to uh, uh, duplicate the water. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to split this container into three different sections so that we've got one for water, one for lava and one for the wonderful honey uh, and the nice thing so having a, a honey generator is great because then you can kind of get uh, honey wherever you want so once you've got your three sections guys what we're going to do is you want to build out a little platform two because that's where the pump's going to sit and then you want to go up one and we do want to do that for each single one and the reason we're doing this is to cause the duplication um, it's similar to in our tips and tricks video how you could basically have an endless water bucket without worrying about anything. Um, when the water hits the block here, part of it wants to go over but part of it wants to stay in. So you basically get a half on either side. And then when this fills up it starts to dump over too. So you get more water coming over the top than it is getting sucked in. So then with our pumps we want to put our outlet pumps up top because this is where the water is getting spewed out. And then we're going to grab our inlet pumps and they can be anywhere on the bottom here. Um, depending what you want to do, it's nice to kind of stick them either on the middle or off to one of the sides so that you're, but it all depends how you want to channel stuff later on. You will see that at the end of the video um, when I kind of go over the channeling. So we've got our pumps, not too shabby. Um, we want to throw a timer for each one that needs to sit on something. Um, of course. I didn't make enough spots. Ah. Oh, and I'm not using gray bricks. Man, people are gonna yell at me. I make things so ugly. So we're just gonna drop our timers. And now the wiring. Now the nice thing about this one is you only need one type of wire in order to do this. Um, Cause there's no overlap. You don't have to worry about things going side by side. So with the wire, 
we want to go to the timer, to the outlet, and all the way down to the inlet button. And we want to do that with each one. Oh, frick. I make ugly wiring. I apologize. Ugly wiring. I'm too quick. I want to make this simple, simple and easy for you guys to follow. Jeez. Uh, so there we go. So we have our wiring all hooked up. Um, we've got the timers on each. If we turn them on, nothing happens yet because there's no... There is nothing, nothing for it to see. But now what we can do is we're gonna take some buckets. So I'm gonna take my water buckets. We'll drop our water in the middle. You don't have to drop it all in, but we're gonna go with that. And then we're gonna turn it on. And you can see the water starts flowing from the bottom up to the top. And if you watch it closely, you will notice that it will slowly, slowly raise its level, which is kind of awesome. So I'm going to drop some honey in this side. Oh, drops a little bit slower. And then we're gonna turn this one on. Nothing spews out until you see the honey gets down there and we go. And now this one, we're gonna see, will it work with one lava bucket? So we're gonna drop one lava bucket down and we're gonna turn this on and not stand in the way. And there we go. You can see the lava slowly getting pumped up slowly 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 i can fill up another bucket oh oh stupid pirate invasions Jesus. ah do i not have my and this is why you get summons guys <laughs> let you work in peace sort of kind of so uh, if you can see down here, the water's filling up nicely. The um, honey is slowly but surely. And unfortunately, the lava is not behaving on us. So we're going to dump another one down. And hopefully that will help. Um, okay, so unfortunately, the lava is not, not doing its thing. Um, because we didn't quite have enough. So I am going to go grab some deal with this pirate invasion and then we will jump back and show you how to channel. All right, guys. So we are back and I filled up a little bit more lava in there and you can see it just took off and completely filled up. Um, honey as well, I went and got a couple more buckets. I'm finding about 10 buckets is a good starting place to get it enough to flow. And uh, honey is the slowest, so it will take some time to fill up. So there we go. This is an unlimited supply. I've got, you know, I can grab as much water out of here as I can want. There's 20, whoa, 22 buckets full, drops it down and you'll see it will just keep filling on up, which is beautiful. So you can have as much of it as you want. And now the fun part is channeling it. And you can channel it from these as much as you want. You just need to build paths. You know, you could build a path straight down if you wanted to dump water somewhere and you just pop that when you want it. Um, let the water rush through. Uh, you can also do some fun things with actuators if you want. I will not um, dive into that today. I'll let you guys kind of experience that on your own. And if you, uh, maybe if people really want something in the comments below, I can show you how to actuator that up in a bit. But what I will show you right now is how to make yourself a little, little channel to get some unlimited obsidian. And then from this, you can just extrapolate on how to do it to the other ones. So you'll see we're making a little channel kind of between the two. Um, and then we're just going to pick that out and pick that out. And we have some obsidian down here. And now you can just hold and keep chopping. Now, occasionally, um, we're not gonna really run into it. I find it more with honey and lava. Um, the thing might move between spots here to different areas, but uh, the obsidian and lava work great. So you can just keep keep doing this and now as long as you keep a um, good amount of lava in there right like we can just stop here the lava will just fill back up with us same with the water it'll, it's doing it right now for us which is great um, and yeah like I said you can do the same thing with oh if I could aim uh, you can do the same thing with lava and or honey and water just drop that drop that 
and we can get as many honey bricks as we want. I'm not going to steal too many out of this just because I want the water or the honey to fill up on us. Um, you can also do, actually, I wonder, do I have the space? Probably not, but I might have to just dig the floor out a little bit. Um, from this setup, we could also do a uh, one for the lava and for the honey right across the bottom. Might take a bit, uh, a bit extra, but you can see you can see exactly what I'm doing here, right? You just chop out the two. I'm gonna wait till they fill up before I do that, and that will get you the crispy honey. Another way to also do this is you could put a, another honey generator on this side or a lava generator on this side. Lava would probably be quicker. Um, and you can make this as big as you want, guys, right? So you could extend these up as high as you want. You could make them as wide. This could all be one, you know, honey or water generator or something along that lines. So unlimited, unlimited. Um, honey, water, lava, obsidian, honey blocks, crispy honey blocks. So enjoy guys this is a wonderful thing to use um i'm gonna have some fun playing around with this i think i want to make one close to hell and see if i can obsidian all of hell over that might be that might be fun down there just explore but yeah so that's the uh, the wednesday wiring today guys i hope you enjoyed this if you did don't forget to smash that like button if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe to our channel for notifications of when all of our videos go live and the um you can always check us out on our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Tumblr, all that fun stuff. If there's somewhere you like to hang out, see if you can find us there. We tend to have a presence pretty much all over the place. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you all next time. So we can get this going. Okay. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to make some sort of holding container. Uh, I'm just going to go up. And you need a different container for each um, liquid that you want to do. I'm just kind of building this. Actually, I should go up a little bit higher. Uh, that should be good. So I'm building this uh, with enough room for me to... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BJ & Co. Terraria video. Today, we're continuing on with our Wednesday wiring series to kind of just show you guys some uh, neat little wiring tricks and things you can do within Terraria to make your, your game a little bit easier. Um, last week we had the lovely bait farm that we worked on down below. If you want to see that, there's a link up above. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be checking out how to generate liquid. When our new videos go live, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel. We always love having you part of the BJ and Co community. So with that, let's get this thing going. Now, in order to do this, there's a couple things we're going to need. Um, we're going to need some, some sort of building block. I'm using gray bricks. You're gonna want inlet and outlet pumps. Um, these can be made with either lead or iron bars and one piece of wire. You need 10 bars and one wire to make each of them. So, you know, here I needed 60 bars to make it, six wires, not too shabby whatsoever. Um, and then we're also gonna need some timers. Timers can be made um, using a gold watch and a piece of wire. And you make a gold watch with gold and chains at a table. So I'm just going to go grab me some of the wonderful timers just so I have enough. And one, two, three. So um, basically making endless lava, endless water, and endless honey supplies. And on top of that, you can also make um, tie it together to kind of get crispy honey, honey blocks, or obsidian very easily. So we're going to go on. Uh, if you are enjoying these Wednesday wiring things, guys, or any of our other content, we would love the likes. Um, I would be amazed if we could get 15 likes on this video, which would be awesome. So show your support, guys. And if you want uh, some notification of what...